This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomarito Automotive Group. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for this News 4 update. I'm Claire Kelly. For the first time, dispensaries in Missouri can start selling recreational marijuana. The state approved licensing Friday morning. Once a business gets the green light, then they can start selling. News 4 did reach out to dispensaries in our area. Kind Goods tells us they got approval for all six stores and will start selling recreational marijuana today. Proper Cannabis also got the green light. All proper stores again selling today as well. And Green Light tells us they have been approved as well. One of the St. Louis City police officers shot last night while attempting to pull over a truck wanted in a robbery has been released from the hospital. The other police officer is still being treated and we understand is in stable condition. That shooting happened last night when officers tried to pull over a truck. Well, the driver took off, crashed at 9th and Lafayette near the Soulard Farmers Market. Police say the driver got out of the vehicle, started shooting, hitting both officers, so they fired back, hitting the suspect in the ankle. That suspect is now in police custody. We do have new information today on a double homicide that happened in South St. Louis. This was about 7 o'clock Thursday night on Pennsylvania Avenue, just north of I-55 in Bates. Police tell us a three-year-old girl and a 60-year-old man were found dead inside a home. We're told the man had gunshot wounds. Homicide detectives are now investigating. We'll talk about a frigid Friday, but these freezing temps won't stay around long as we check in now with meteorologist Kristen Cornett. It is temporary, a one day cool down. This morning it was pretty breezy. The winds won't be as strong this afternoon, around three to six miles per hour. It's sunny, but that sun doesn't do much to warm things up. Today's high 27, about 15 degrees below average. Look what happens this evening, though. The winds turn to the southeast. Look at the temperatures. They don't really fall. They're near steady and they're going to stay near steady overnight. So that's going to be setting us up for what will become a big warm up starting tomorrow. So clear and cold this evening. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's cold 23 at 9 p.m. with a wind chill of 15, but that wind shift is going to spell big changes for us. So check out what happens over the weekend. We start tomorrow morning around 22, but the high up to 50. It's going to be breezy and then Sunday less breezy, warmer. 56. We're going to see high temperatures hang out in the 50s for the next seven days. Our average high this time of year is in the low 40s. We do have a couple of rain chances in the extended forecast. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday all show low probabilities. And as of right now, it looks like some pretty light rain. All right, Kristen, thank you. And thanks to all of you for joining us right now for this News 4 update.